How long does it take to refuel an aircraft carrier? Petty Officer Michael Chen thought he had it all figured out when the USS George Washington went in for refueling. This 22-year-old sailor expected a quick pit stop. I figured we'd swap out some fuel rods, do a little maintenance, and be back at sea in a couple of years, he said. But what Chen saw next left him speechless. Standing in dry dock beneath the ship's massive propellers, he looked up at a giant city of steel, gutted like a fish with cranes and workers everywhere. This is going to take how long, he thought. The answer shocked him. Six years. The USS George Washington stayed in that shipyard for 2,117 days, far longer than anyone expected. The Navy calls this process RCOH, and it only happens once in the ship's 50-year lifespan. But here's why it takes so long. They're not just adding fuel. Teams must shut down two nuclear reactors that power the entire ship, then carefully remove hundreds of radioactive fuel rods following safety procedures so strict that a single mistake could be deadly. This isn't a refuel, it's a full rebuild of a floating nuclear city. 